in this video we will be looking about operations of bjt based on the regions so we know that bjt can act differently based on the different regions so what are these regions first region is the active region so in this case the emitter base junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased as you can see in the circuit the emitter base junction is being forward biased that is the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the p type of the npn junction that is we know that p type is base over here base terminal is p type so the positive terminal of the battery is being connected to the base junction and the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the emitter junction which is n type and the collector base junction is being reverse biased that is the positive terminal of the battery is being connected to the collector junction which is n type and the negative terminal of the battery is being connected to the p type that is the base junction so we look at we look into the configuration or the conditions where this active region is going to form and how it's going to work so let's say the voltage at emitter is v and voltage at base is vb or voltage at collector is vc so for an emitter base junction to be forward biased the potential or the voltage at base junction or the base terminal should be greater than that of the voltage at emitter junction this is because as you can see here emitter junction is being connected with the negative terminal of the battery right so as emitter junction is already n type there are high electron density over there and as it is connected to the negative part the electrons are coming towards the n type so making the emitter junction more electron negative or more electron rich and the base junction as you might have guessed it already that is the base junction is being positively charged and this positive charges would attract this electrons which are being formed in the emitter junction towards it and hence we can see the electrons moving from the emitter junction towards the base junction and we know that for collector base junction is being reverse biased that is vc or the voltage across the collector terminal should be greater than that of voltage across the base junction so that as you can see here collector junction is being connected, is it's connected to the positive terminal of the battery and we can see that the positive charges are being flown to the negative part or the n type impurity or the collector junction so as the positive part flows towards the n type or the collector junction we know that there are electrons in the base or the base terminal which these electrons would be attracted towards the positive charges positive type of charges which are formed or which are coming from the battery to the collector junction and these electrons will move towards the collector junction due to this positive charges and hence they move from the base junction to the collector junction and thus we see the flow of current we know that summarizing the entire thing it's just that the electrons will be formed in the emitter junction and it becomes electron electron rich and since the base terminal is positively charged uh, this positive charges will attract these electron towards it and hence we see the flow of electrons from the n type or the emitter junction to the base junction and since the collector and base junction is reverse biased we can see that the flow of electrons from the base junction to the collector junction due to the positive charges which are coming from the positive of the battery towards the collector and these electrons which are present in the base junction will move towards the positive charges coming from the collector collector junction and thus we see the flow of current
in this circuit that is all about the active region and therefore the total configuration goes as follows it says the voltage across the collector junction should be greater than the voltage across the base junction and that should be greater than the voltage across the emitter junction so this is all about the active region and the next is the cutoff region so what does the cutoff region mean in this case both emitter junction and the collector base junction is reverse biased but the configuration is different the both emitter and base junction and the collector and base junction will be reverse biased and the principle is same the flow of electrons will take place in a different manner that's it and to operate bjt in the cutoff region the configuration goes like the mentioned below that is voltage across the emitter junction should be greater than the voltage across the base junction and voltage across the collector the collector junction should be greater than the voltage across the base junction that's it nothing different so the third type of region is the saturation region in this case both emitter and base junction and collector and base junction will be forward biased that's it and this is the to operate the bjt in the saturation region this is the con this is the uh, voltages at the respective junctions that is the voltage at base junction should be greater than the voltage at the emitter junction and the voltage at base junction should be greater than the voltage at collector junction this is all about the different kind of configurations or the different type of regions what we see in the bjt